Hello, this is Philip, and this is an update for the LEGO test machine in number two. Okay, there's a lot of things that are new. I've done a lot of tests, and I, I'm, I was uh, bad at, at giving you updates, but here's, uh, here's where we are right now. We're that close from starting the real test because uh, I did the uh, two long time uh, testing, and uh, I'm about to do the last fix on that. So, uh, a big uh, difference from uh, what you've seen last time is that now there's this uh, wheel here at the top. So what happened is that when I did my first uh, uh, long test, uh, after a couple of hours, what happened is the, the Lego pieces, I'm going to get this one here, Lego pieces, once they start uh, wearing out, at one point they get to a, a perfect little stickiness factor where they you know you barely put a little pressure and then they kind of stick you know and they stay together just a little bit so the bottom one here i had to do something to kind of hold it in place so what i did is i put some kind of a just a piece of metal like a, a little piece of uh, metal like that and as the arm go up so i'm going to show it to you here as the arm go up it pushes this so basically there's three positions now there's like putting it in there's a neutral and then there's holding the Lego at the bottom. So it looks like this from the other side. It's very simple little thing here. So it just holds the thing. But the thing is, it's since it's just a little piece of wire, um, it barely touches the Lego, but it makes a little mark on it. You know, so I'm gonna put pictures of that, but there's a tiny little mark that it would make on the Lego. And a tiny little mark, if you do it like you know a hundred times that's a tiny little mark if you do it twenty thousand times it gives you something like this so it's kind of hard to see but i'm going to put pictures of that too but there's basically a groove in it you know it's a huge uh, a huge gouge you know uh, in it so that's bad <laughs> and um so what i've uh, and it was basically happening because the, the little piece of wire that's there would be loose but it would still touch the leg every, every time it would go down and up so what i'm going to do is i'm going to build a new thing like that but i'm going to put a pad and that little rubber pad is going to touch it but then it's going to get completely out the, out of the way so that the lego is come with a completely free movement all the way down and up and other than that the cool thing is that this one went through like I would have to look at the number like 20 uh, nearly 22,000 iterations so this machine can can last his marathon you know and uh, so this is pretty interesting uh, so everything else is set it's just that I have to make sure that I don't destroy the Lego in the process and, and it kind of changed also the values because it's removing material and also since it's touching it's going to make it fall before it's time to fall for real so i'm going to do that a uh, couple of notes about durability i'm going to have to buy some uh, thread lock uh, for the screws because the screws get this here the screws that are holding the motors to its plate so uh, those here they tend to get loose so I'm gonna have to thread lock that. I also noticed that there's like some kind of grease. Well, I kind of, you know, this is not super bad, but there's some kind of grease that starts to ooze out of the uh, the gearbox here uh, after you know tens of thousands of repetitions. And uh, a thing that I had to do also is I I broke one of those. These are the the they go on the axle, and then you can uh, basically uh, screw in the wheels. Uh, those things, uh, one one broke because there's basically a little screw, a little uh, Allen key screw that goes all the way in and, and it secures it in place. That thing got basically ripped off by the, the strength of it. So what I did is I put one in and then I put a second one that comes and um, basically pushes on the first one. And so I did that for, oops, sorry, I did that for both. So this one and this one have two screws to uh, hold it in place and I never had a problem since. So, um, and um, also some couple of notes, uh, the, the big ugly base that you see here is part of the soundproofing box that I have uh, around that. Uh, also, uh, the count is saved on the EEPROM of the Arduino, 
I have the code up on uh, GitHub, so if you want to look that up. And also I have a Bluetooth module uh, in the back here. See a little uh, Bluetooth module right here. And uh, that thing is uh, basically enabling me from time to time to come near the machine and uh, check where the count is or if it's stopped, uh, why it's stopped. Um, so that's, um, that's that for now and I'm gonna build, uh, now I'm gonna disassemble uh, this part here to put a new, new one in which is uh, almost complete and I'm gonna have another video for that part and then uh, we can start the real tests with the uh, the first one uh, now that I know that I can I can do the whole thing so thank you guys for watching and uh, stay tuned for the first results uh, hopefully it's gonna take uh, you know six to ten days as usual <laughs> so thank you guys bye